Hi Hoopers, this is Jillery Hoops. I'm going to teach you how to wrap up the polycarb hoop for the unity of the traveling hoop project. Here are the supplies that you'll need. Alright, for this project you're going to need a pair of scissors, a pen, typically a fine point sharpie works well for me, some packaging tape, some bubble wrap that you're going to cut off of the roll into smaller segments, some brown paper that you'll also cut up into smaller segments, and you'll also notice I've got a stack of envelopes and the journal. So I'll be providing the envelopes and journal as this goes around. So the first step is we're going to take the bubble wrap and we're going to cut it into smaller segments just like this. I'm going to cut through the rest of this roll. They are just about two inches, two to two and a half inches wide and you're just going to take and cut directly into this roll. Hold on while I cut through that. Now just for reference I am actually just cutting right into this roll with these scissors and it might not look like much is happening but it's actually cutting right through that and you can literally just sort of hack away at it until you get all the way through. and there you have it. So the chunk just basically breaks right off after you cut through it like that. So I need two hands for this job so I'm going to continue just cutting into this roll. Okay so I've cut up all my pieces and now I'm going to take and I have the hoop between my knees. This is how I like to fold hoops. My heat feet help to hold it. Um, but you're really just going to wrap this around as if you're taping a hoop if you've ever done that. So it's just going to be spiraled like that. Alright, so let me try this again. I'm just going to wrap this bubble wrap right around the tubing, just overlapping a little bit here. Until you get all the way around. So this is the idea. All right, I'm going to wrap until I get to the end of this piece and then move on to the next. I'll show you how that's done. Hold on. All right, so I'm at the end of that one piece of bubble wrap and I've got some tape on the end of it here and you can just sort of tape that to itself. And now you'll get ready for the next piece. Hold on. All right, so take a little bit of tape grab the end of that bubble wrap, tape it right on top of the other bubble wrap that you just finished, and continue wrapping. Don't worry that there are going to be some fat spots and some skinny spots. Again, this is just bubble wrap. Uh, the hoop probably doesn't even really need it for protection because it's polycarbonate. Um, it's more susceptible to being squished than it is um, being sort of crushed. So just go ahead and keep wrapping that bubble wrap, overlapping a tiny bit as you go. And as you get to the end of each little roll, you'll use some tape to tape it off and start the next one. So I'm going to make some progress on that and I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, so now I just have the whole hoop covered in bubble wrap. And the next part of the project is take your scissors and you're going to cut into this paper the exact same way. So in the same way I cut these little guys right here off the roll of bubble wrap, you're just going to cut right through the paper. Okay? So let me go ahead and cut about two to three inch segments all along this roll and I'll come back to you. Alright, so now I have a bunch of segments. As you can see, they're different sizes. It's not a science. It's packaging. So take some tape and affix it to the very end of a roll. Affix the roll onto the hoop. It doesn't matter if the paper drops. You're going to be wrapping again in a spiral here that just overlaps a little bit. Bring this around. This is a lot harder to do with one hand than I thought it was going to be. Um, you can see here, just wrap it with a little bit of overlap. Bring the paper around the hoop. 
and I'm going to make some progress with that. When I get to the end, I'm going to tape it down, and I'll get another piece, and I'll tape it on. So let me get through that. All right, so here I am at the end of my piece of paper. I've put some tape on it. I'm just going to wrap it around and tape it down. And I'm going to get some more tape, uh, which is going to take me a second because i got to peel it off the roll. Hold on. All right, so now we have our next piece of tape, or a piece of paper. We're just going to tape it down and continue wrapping. So that's how you do the switch between rolls. Hold on, I'm going to go ahead and finish wrapping up the hoop. All right, so I've reached the end. I'm just going to tape that down. And now the whole hoop is covered in paper. The next part, which is going to be really loud and obnoxious, is putting packaging tape on the whole thing. So you're literally going to take the tape like this, spread it out some, and hang on, i got to switch which direction my hand is in. And you're going to bring it around and do this over the entire hoop. Because you really want to make sure that the paper doesn't catch and snag and tear, and that's going to give it a little extra strength. So all the way around the whole hoop. Okay, now the whole hoop is covered with shiny tape over the whole surface. Uh, next, I'm going to get a piece of paper, and this will be my label. Actually, no, that's how I do normal hoops. We're going to have an envelope. How cool is that, folks? You don't have to make your own brown paper label. All right, so here's the deal. I'm going to have a journal inside and there's some business cards if you want to take some out of that little opening and you can also tape your business cards in here if you want write whatever you'd like so this envelope or sorry this book is going to go folded in the middle of all these envelopes so the package is going to get lighter as it cruises around the country so right inside here and I'm going to put all of that inside of this envelope. So that's going to go inside of this envelope, which I will seal and label, and I will stick it onto the hoop. All right, so let me take care of that bit, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so I've put a piece of clear packing tape right on the envelope. I'm going to get that right on top of the hoop and fold it down. And I'm going to end up addressing this, and I don't want the world to see the addresses, so um, I'm going to just tape the daylights out of all of this real quick. All right, so I've got this taped. If you can see the, the shine to it, that's better. You can see here. I've got this taped all the way down on the back side, and the envelope comes up almost over the top. Here, you can see. This is, this is taped all the way down to here. And I've got tape wrapped around here, across the top, here, front, back. So that thing's really in there. There's, there's no way that's going to come off. It's not going to pull or get, get ripped off. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and address this puppy, and I hope that everyone enjoys it. Remember, don't do any ninja breaks with it. Don't do any hard knee breaks with it. And while it's okay to do the old squish it down and pop it up trick to see how high it flies, don't squeeze it too flat. Use your best judgment. And um, just be very careful with really high tosses if you don't catch it. Because if it squishes too much with force in this direction, it will snap. Okay? Uh, so there's your fair warning. It's filled with glitter. So again, if it snaps, you're going to have glitter everywhere. So enjoy yourself. Be good to it. Uh, try to use a nice easy flow with it, but I think you'll find it's really enjoyable. Okay? Have fun!